please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Handling HTTP Methods in Flask, Get and Post Introduction In web development, HTTP methods play a crucial role in determining how a server should handle incoming requests. Two of the most common methods are GET and POST. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to work with these methods using Flask, a popular web framework for Python. We'll cover how to get the text of a script using the GET method and handle the 405 method not allowed error when trying to use the POST method. We'll also provide a full code example to demonstrate this in action. Prerequisites Getting started Install Flask If you haven't already installed Flask, you can do so using pip. Create a Flask application Create a new Python file for your Flask application. Let's name it app.py In this file, we'll define our Flask roots. In this code, we've defined a root at slash script, and we've explicitly allowed both get and post methods. Using JavaScript to send get request. Now, let's create a simple HTML page with JavaScript to make a get request to our Flask application. This HTML file contains a button that, when clicked, sends a get request to our Flask slash script root and displays the script text received in the response. Using JavaScript to send POST request, error handling. To handle the 405 method not allowed error, you can use the following JavaScript code. In this HTML code, we've created a button that sends a POST request to the slash script root and handles the 405 method not allowed error by displaying an error message. Conclusion You've learned how to handle GET and POST requests in a Flask application and handle the 405 method not allowed error for unsupported methods. By allowing both GET and POST for a specific route, you can control how data is sent and received in your web application. This can be particularly useful for building RESTful APIs and handling different types of user interactions on your website. Chat GPT Title Handling GET and POST requests with Flask in Python Introduction In web development, handling HTTP requests is a fundamental task. Two of the most common HTTP request methods are GET and POST. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to work with these methods using Flask, a Python web framework. We'll create a simple web application that responds to both GET and POST requests and handles the 405 method not allowed error when appropriate. The code examples in this tutorial will demonstrate the process of handling these requests in a web application. Prerequisites GET and POST requests GET and POST are two HTTP request methods used to send and receive data between a client, usually a web browser, and a server. These methods have different purposes. GET, this method is used to request data from the server. It appends data to the URL in a query string format. GET requests are used for retrieving data and should not be used for sensitive information since the data is visible in the URL. POST, this method is used to submit data to the server, typically through forms. Post requests are more secure for sensitive data as the data is sent in the request body, not in the URL. In this tutorial, we will create a simple Flask application that accepts both GET and POST requests. Setting up Flask First, make sure you have Flask installed. If not, you can install it using pip. Creating a simple Flask application Create a Python file for your Flask application, example app.py and add the following code. In this code, we create a simple Flask application with a single root, slash. The methods equals get, post argument in the at app root decorator allows the root to respond to both get and post requests. Depending on the request method, 
we return different responses. Running the Flask application. To run the Flask application, execute the following command in your terminal. Accessing the web application. Open your web browser and navigate to http slash slash localhost 5000 slash. You can test both get and post requests using a web browser or a tool like curl. For example, handling the 405 method not allowed error. If you attempt to use other HTTP methods besides get and post on this route, Flask will return a 405 method not allowed error, as specified in the code example. Conclusion In this tutorial, you've learned how to create a simple Flask web application that handles both get and post requests. You've also seen how to return the 405 method not allowed error when an unsupported HTTP method is used. This knowledge can be applied to create more complex web applications that handle different types of HTTP requests and process data accordingly. ChatGPT